it went kind of how I wanted to and also did not. It like it did and it didn't. And so actually sitting here having to talk about how it went is great. It's great for me. It's fantastic. <laughs> and systems modeling and analysis PhD candidate and for fun I make lifestyle vlogs about staying authentic while elevating and transforming throughout life so if you're about productivity systems healthy habits life lessons and just talks about my musings as a 20 something then this is definitely the place for you we're all about balanced lifestyle content so I would subscribe for more and today I'm doing my second March today I'm doing my second plan with me ever and i am so excited also a little scared because the really like it went kind of how i wanted to and also did not it like it did and it didn't and so actually sitting here having to talk about how it went is great it's great for me it's fantastic <laughs> so yeah welcome or welcome back <laughs> i want to give you a rundown of what we're going over today so we're going to have the general setup as the previous video we're going to start with the better choices planner and going through the monthly pages we're going to go through we're going to do the analysis first and then the review so i feel like analysis is more about behavior and how i'm sticking to my word like how i can grade myself in that sort of way and then a review is more about how i felt what i accomplished and my personal lessons from the month so we'll go through both of those and then we'll go through my weekly report cards and how i actually did week to week and then we'll get into uh, the notion tour I do have the pages that I want to check every month to just check in with am I actually still contributing to my big picture and then we'll get into the March plan with me in my better choices planner we'll do the monthly pages the vision board the calendar um, that general setup and then we'll get into the my favorite section the wore it out section what I wore out in February I don't know that there was a whole lot because it was very much so very much so giving grind season very much so giving working one well, like definitely gave productive uh, phd student vibes that's honestly why i was so excited when the first friend of the channel bad in mind reached out to me i as we all know i'm in the throes of my dissertation writing process i'm completing my project studying writing coding and i'm also you know making these videos and trying to better my health and it's just a lot to balance and juggle i really do need a lot of focus and energy to stay on track with all of my priorities and still actually you know be a functioning heart healthy human being and magic mind helped me do just that it's this super cute cute two fluid ounce bottle and it's the world's first productivity shot how cool <laughs> that was helped to reduce stress and give you all of the energy and focus of caffeine but without the really really life-threatening side effects of caffeine and coffee it tells you straight on the bottle that there's matcha for energy there's nootropics for focus adaptogens for stress reduction and vitamins for immunity i've been taking them before my work sessions whether i'm at work or in the library about to study it i've really been enjoying taking it it actually tastes really good 
I like sweet things and it is subtly sweet so I enjoy that and it has really given me that extra push through to really focus in on my work and even though I've been having some late nights I've been able to get so much done during the day and during the night when I take this right before I start working. So if you're looking for a productivity aid that is actually good for you and actually tastes good then I would give Magic Mind a try. The effects for focus kick in in about an hour after consumption but you'll get the full health benefits of like the matcha and the adaptogens and everything after about 40 days of usage. I am of course still working on my dissertation and I still have some bottles left and I can't wait to keep using it and seeing just how much I get done because you know your girl is going to keep succeeding. Like let's just we're gonna get into how good I actually did in February. Like it was kind of torture but it was really good. <laughs> so let's get into it and I'm gonna keep you all informed of how it's going. If you want to try out Magic Mind I will have everything you need to know linked in the description below and let's get into the February review and analysis. Let's get into the February review and analysis. So starting with the Better Choices Planner, let's pull it up on the tablet. This is the 2024 Quarter 1 Better Choices Planner. It is a free 12-week planner that is available for download in my description box. I made it initially for myself to be a digital version of my bullet journals that I have made for myself over the last like six seven years and I wanted a portable digital version and I'm sharing it with you all because I already made it but I will also be releasing a quarter two planner by the end of March so that will be updated in the description box if it's available and you can always find it in any of my links so uh, this is what I use to document my life day to day I do my reflections in here I do my tracking my habit tracking my journaling I put everything in here that I can and then I like save the PDF when the quarter is over and then I use a new one and that's how I, I get that fresh dopamine hit. So I shared my January and February like setup in the previous video so in this one I'm just going to go through the February monthly pages results and then my reflections. The way I like to use it is to use bookmarks. I like to use bookmarks and by using bookmarks I'm able to just see my essential pages. I like to save the monthly pages for each month so I can quickly see January's and then I can go through on the side here and then I can see February so that's what we're about to go over. So we have the front page here. The goal here was to do my 75 find challenge which I actually have kept up with and has really inspired me to like keep going with a lot of my goals so it's, it's it did what it was supposed to do you understand I likely will keep playing with my hair because I don't know what to do I just took it down I had to like you know like I said pause and, and match the vibe but now I'm just gonna swing with the length anyway so we see here my goal is my proposal presentation which I actually did create to submit my lit review to a publication I didn't do it to a publication but I did like fully finalize it to my research team so like that's done um finalized job app list has definitely moved and those other things at the bottom also fully moved because this month girl this month so as we can see on the february calendar here we have uh, i've been doing a lot of taing i have to take a certain amount of hours a week which turns out to be much more like like a, a bigger chunk of my day than i thought i was just like oh just four or five hours a day that's not that's not too bad and i mean it's not compared to people that do like 10 hours rip but like even still considering like what I was doing before which was zero hours of diverted attention it's like wow I've had to really like zone in on different like modes of thinking with like YouTube and then TAing and then researching just different kinds of minds and it's just been interesting how it has impacted my life. <laughs> so that has been the February calendar. It did impact my ability to get one of my videos out because I just didn't have time to finish my edits in time. I've been trying to be very, like take a lot of initiative this last month and just be serious about my commitment to what I say I'm doing. If my advisor or someone gives me a suggestion or edit, I try to get to that as quickly as possible as my number one priority. So if that means I don't edit or I don't walk or something, then I'm so sorry Then that's that was okay this month and you will see that reflected in my behavior. Um, I definitely had this as my screensaver on my iPad, so always looking at that. Going over my goals. So first goal is to submit and present my proposal. We are 98% of the way there. We actually have a date for my proposal. So I just literally got the email right before this video of her being like reserve the room for the proposal. 
so I'm going to shit my pants. Um, it's amazing. So the things I had to do to make sure this is happening is update my results. So that means I have three chapters fully written. Um, before I was still getting results for two chapters. Now I'm just getting results for one chapter. Um, and I have updated the plots for this chapter. I've submitted my late review to my team. I have done, I've written my intro and added all my citations. I have, um, I, and I haven't finalized, I haven't finalized my presentation, but I have drafted it. So I count that as like good. And so, yes, we're, we're making some final strides. I'm currently going to talk about like my goals going forward before my proposal actually comes. My second goal was my February fine challenge. I started it on the first and it's why it looks so cute right now. Like we have to get into this vibe. I don't know if you can see my skirt, um, but it is to remember that I'm a full well-rounded person. I have fitness goals. I have fashion goals. I have uh, job goals and creative goals. Um, and this challenge is to keep me like in line with that and inspired to stay committed. I need to re-sit down, hold on. And stay reminded about my personal mission, about like my health and my wellness and my personal expression, because that is important to me and staying authentic. So that has been going really good. I've been documenting it on my lifting page, Lift with Quinn. And at first I was doing everyday collages, but as I've, as I said, it gotten busier and busier. It's been hard to keep up, up with my daily postings. So I'm gonna have to figure out a more weekly schedule or just reincorporate it more vigorously daily, but I have been documenting it as much as possible, all of my fitness activities on that page. And I'm loving it. I feel like I look good. I'm so sore right now from what I did yesterday, y'all. I did a, a push-up challenge. Your girl did some clap push-ups, modified clap push-ups. Stop playing with me. Like, we're gonna have the muscles because I like wearing things like this now. So I'm like, we're getting the arms on some, like, Viola Davis type vibes. Like, I love that shit. Okay, anyway. And then my third goal was daily outfit of the day picks. And oh, I ate this up. I ate this up. I'm eating it up right now. It's still February and we're in a leap year. So tomorrow's the 29th. Uh, it's February 28th. So uh, eating it up. Daily outfit picks. Actually putting on more clothes. I've, it, it has made me feel so sexy to be reminded of my ability to express myself through fashion. That I am more than active wear. That I am more than just big sweaters like you know because i'm staying and shit like but actually putting on clothes going out and being i don't know a functioning person when you actually put effort into what you are wearing i've noticed i make so many more relationships people come up to me platonically like oh i love your fit people come up to me professionally like oh what do you do people come up to me like romantically like oh you look good like it is a conversation starter all the time my whole life and i'm always reminded that every time i'm always reminded that every time i actually like put you know an actual amount of of, of thought into my appearance more than usual i mean i always do because period but like in a more non-active word sense you know and i've been doing that and i've been doing that by planning out my outfits i literally have some outfits planned and if i don't wear them then they just stay like on the bottom row to be worn so now we have the next page which is the monthly picture hub and I love this spread, uh, being able to go back and see that I really did meet my goal of actually wearing real clothes, y'all. Look at this shit. I love the straight hair days. That week I had the curls. Oh, I love this jean skirt and this skirt. I loved it. Oh my gosh, Valentine's Day week, the ass was giving, the looks were giving, the looks were giving Valentine's week, sexy sexy and then the week after yes giving cozy giving cute a lot of jeans oh, okay no we're back sexy period workout girl and then we're back in our workout mode i've been in a workout mode which is why today i had to put on some cute baby some some cuter than, than workout clothes like we say it so most of these days i absolutely stuck to my goal of actually you know wearing real clothes so i love this spread um and being able to compare it to last month is always super fun and it, i like also using these as reference later so like during the summer, I'm definitely gonna look back at these and just be like, oh, I can take off this, or I could, you know, change that, you know, like, it's my clothes, you know what I'm saying? Outfit repeater, proud outfit repeater, okay? All right, next we have the monthly mood tracker. And so the way this works for me is there are smiley faces and I like to just, I draw a certain amount and then I copy and move it around every day. And I like to see how often I'm above a certain threshold. So actually, let me see how I am for this bottom one, actually. 
so i like to stay at a general level of happiness and so i'm tracking how often i am not at that place which i think is important especially in the state i'm in right now with the with doing my dissertation because it definitely has been affecting my mental health and so it's nice to see how long it does if it does um how low it takes me that type thing because <laughs> it almost took me low yesterday but it i prevailed i prevailed so it looks like out of all of these 28 days so far and i'm just gonna count tomorrow too because it's already a great day one two three four four days out of 29 that i did not so that's 25 out of 29 where i was happy which is what percent let's calculate that 25 divided by 29 is 86 percent of the time i was happy that's a b i love that so amazing my mood was generally good this month so i love that for me i feel like that could be attributed to just me feeling a lot of pride toward completing my work like it was definitely a lot of late nights and i am personally against that personally against that i don't promote all-nighters i don't promote like sacrificing health for success but that is what it has been that's what it has been um but i'm glad and and that's but the offset of that is that i've been happy about what i've been completing as the virgo academic validation addict that i am seeing i'm in my like 20th fucking year of school so anyway great mood from doing all this work <laughs> is my point <laughs> so that's awesome now we're going to the sleep tracker so as we can see here you see these first two weeks not sleeping it was like oh i gotta do what period okay i'm going to bed at 5 a.m 2 30 a.m 2 30 a.m 3 a.m 3 a.m 3 a.m 2 30 3 a.m 4 a.m 2 a she's 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 barely going to bed okay there were some a lot of days where i did not get enough sleep and i feel like i was definitely starting to feel that effect on my body like i was not feeling as energetic and i was not feeling as like cute in my face i was feeling a little more self-conscious about bloating because i didn't like have that like cushion of like yeah i've been sleeping good but, but because i have this to be aware of and i saw how fucking bad it was this last week this last week i was like okay we have to get some sleep like and do you see this trending to green this last week i love it so but i really wanted to save my grade because like i care about my health and my wellness so i got a total thank god for these last couple days of at least 19 out of 29 days of meeting my goal of six hours of sleep a day and that's 66 percent of the time I got a d on that so a definitely definite area of improvement going forward um I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't really see it improving going forward, but like, <laughs> it's great to be aware of it. No, no, great. Okay, and now we have the habit tracker page. I love this page. Oh my gosh. So we're going to get into the habits. What habits did we say we were going to do this month? We said one hour walk, strength training, my beauty routine, I'll create some creativity time, meeting my water goal and my protein goal. And these were inspired by my 75 fine challenge to so just see like how often I'm actually doing it because I am not a hard and fast, like I'm not a, if you have, like, I don't know. I've, I stopped being like all or nothing a long time ago. I'm very flexible with myself, very understanding, but very committed still. Like I believe in just like, I understand that commitment means that I'm going to give different levels every day, but it's still every day and it's not like, a mandatory burnout high level every day like that's how i approach things so i'm i that's why i track what i do i track what i do so i can see like okay i wasn't giving very much attention to this so i can adjust my behavior in this way and like this thing might be more solidified so i can start tracking something else etc so let's see how i did so for my one hour walk i got it 21 days out of 29 so that gives me a c um that's cool that's fine i feel like that's likely due to the, all the working like just me like not making time to leave from one spot of not leaving my apartment so that's not that's on me that's on me obviously we like a's and b's <laughs> so that's an area of improvement and then we have the strength training we have the strength training maybe i got 21 out of 24 days because even though i am doing a 75 fine challenge i am still going by my five days a week schedule 
um, that has worked for me. I do have PCOS. I'm very aware of like my cortisol and my hormone levels and I'm not going to um, push myself to like stress level or hormones just to do it every day. So I take rest days. So it's only 24, not 29 days that I had to work out. Therefore, meeting 21 gives me a B. And I've been feeling it. I feel like I definitely feel a little more muscle tone in my body, like in my arms, and I'm able to lift more. All right, and then we have my beauty routine. This has such varying meanings for me now. Um, my beauty routine can mean I actually put on real clothes. It can mean I did my skincare routine. It can mean I did my gua sha routine. Anything that contributes to my like beauty maintenance is me doing a beauty routine. Almost every day, 26 out of 29, because when you look good, you think good, and you do good. You know, I always have this rule in undergrad where if I had a test, I would dress up that day. And I was like, because if I feel confident, then I'll like feel more confident about like how I think. And I've applied that to more of like every day now, and I'm trying to get back into that. And this has really helped me do that because when you feel confident, you act confident. And so you really like don't procrastinate and I don't, you know, feel all hesitant. I'm like, okay, let's see. So I love it. And then we have the yoga and splits routine, which is my uh, ideal creativity time, but I also count it creativity time as anything towards YouTube or social media content or my magazine or just anything creative, like putting together outfits. Like if I did something creative, I checked this box. And I did, again, almost every day, 28 out of 29. Like I've been very serious about it. Like I really do care about uh, expression of self. So love my challenge for this gonna keep going and then we have my water goal and my eating goal which i did horribly on i definitely neglected my wellness in that regard from just sitting at my computer it would be three o'clock and i had a meal and i look it up and it's 11 o'clock and i'm like oh 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 i ain't ate nothing <laughs> you know um that has happened that has been happening so that that explains both of those really truly so we're going to have to work on that going forward i keep wanting to think that things are going to lighten up in one of these months but the truth is that it is just not it's not going to happen i went from the stress of will i complete to the stress of getting my proposal right to the stress of finding a job to the stress of uh, you know getting through graduation to the stress of moving to, so it's, it's not going to lighten up it's not going to lighten up i'm just going to have to toughen up and rise to the occasion so that's what we're doing we're rising and then the last monthly tracker is the step tracker and this month i decided to also log what the actual number of steps were because even though i do just love being able to see when i am or i'm not over 10k i like seeing when, like how much more over 10k because some of these days it's like right at 10k and some days it's really above and i like seeing that so so my goal for the 75 fine challenge is to get those 10k steps a day um that is supposed to be just the general amount of movement we would get if we weren't people that were addicted to sitting it was a made-up number by a company because it sounded good to sell their pedometers but it was estimated from the fact of uh, five miles a day is a regular amount to walk that's good for you just based on the fact that more movement is good um you don't have to get 10k steps it's just actually moving more is the goal which is why i don't judge myself too harshly about it i just like seeing how much i actually move and i am trying to build up this walking habit for multiple reasons i want to be able to become a long distance walker like i would like to walk four miles one way four miles back and that'd be like cool i would like to be able to hike i want to start hiking literal trails and mountains i find that fun i currently have been walking with my um wristlets and things which is one of my favorites this month and i even bought a weighted vest that i want to start using towards april and i want to improve my endurance and become like really have a good a lot of stamina for better dancing and like use that um as like a test of my cardio fitness and I just, I have so many reasons why I want to make more steps a daily thing. And then I also, at some point, want to include like other cardios. I want to consider this just like daily activity and then also add in maybe a pole class or a boxing class and still go to the gym. Like I really want an active lifestyle. I want it to be normalized because it's just something I do. And this is the starting point for that. Tracking my steps, seeing like how much more I'm moving this month than last month or uh, and you know how much am I moving more today than yesterday and this month I did so good I got 22 out of 29 giving me a C uh, For this month's walking which compared to last month. Let's see last month's walking Was 18 so at least four days more 
period 22 yeah so four more days of meeting that goal that is improvement all improvement is improvement even if it's a minor so <laughs> snaps to me so love that and some of these were really high what i think is interesting is these low days are always precipitated by those high days like the day i got five thousand the day before I got 13,000 and the day I got 5,000 again the day before I got a lot and then I got like a lot in a row and then I was like my body had to adjust so like I can see a pattern of when I'm not getting those steps of my body just like compensating for that energy in another way so that's interesting but I am seeing on like my apple watch that my metabolism or like my amount of minutes spent moving is changing so I am adjusting to this as a new normal um so I'm just going to keep doing a 75 fine challenge to meet this step goal very very proud of myself very very proud of myself with my trackers this month so then that means we have to go look at the monthly report card monthly reflection here and so back to base off my total and then also i have my report cards so looking at the grades for my habit accountability meeting my protein goal this month i got a d really bad like i said for the sleep the protein the water like the general like wellness did not do as many days those first two weeks was really really bad of just zoning in on work and then uh, but making up a little better in the last two weeks and then i definitely met my walking goal my gym goal and my supplement goal because those are just part of my routine like i my morning routine is supplements in the gym you know <laughs> um walking is my like transition between tasks so i'm going to walk i'm going to do those things but i sacrificed intentionally my my food and my sleep to get more work done um and i want to Kind of zone back in on my health in march and then my memories for my pictures that i want to highlight here i chose two of the outfits that i really really loved i'm even wearing one of the shirts again just because i i feel like i'm looking like, so good like just what i envisioned when i wrote my when i made my vision board for the beginning of the year so uh this first picture i'm wearing this skirt this jean skirt with the slit with my black boots and you, you'll see it in an upcoming video. You'll see both of these outfits in upcoming videos because I've been vlogging my life more frequently. So I'm loving that as well. Um, and then also just, I have a picture of me at my desk because I have been at my desk, at this desk, at my PhD desk, in the library. Like I've been at the desk, I've been walking. So that is what I wanna remember about this month because that's what it's been. It's been fly fits and working. Being hot, February sexy <laughs> and then going looking at the report cards looking at like my habit tracker i did so much better week to week than i did last month three b's three b's snaps for me bitch snaps for me again i'm very contributed to just like actually getting my steps in to get my 10k um and as long as i get like more days doing it than not doing it then i am on the up and I know on this last week here, it was a 79.7 or some shit like that, like super close. And I was like, oh, I'm rounding that up. That's a B, that's a B. Like, and don't you hate when your teachers didn't do that, when it, you had like a point something and they didn't round? Rude. Where's the, where's the code? Where's the, rude? I understand. So three Bs, baby. And look at the fit in the studying. Like I've been loving it. I also love the meme corner because it really is uh, accurate to that week, like this week where it's like just do the tasks and stop stressing about them. Real, very much so that week, you know? So, ah, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I can see how well I did week to week and that really just inspires me to know that I am able to, you know, backslide a little but then still stay accountable going forward the next month or going forward the next week. So I'm really happy to see this. February analysis has me feeling good and like actually excited to plan March. I've been feeling a lot of stress about planning March and I mean, I do still, but reviewing this, hold on. I was feeling a lot of stress about planning March, but now I'm feeling a, a bit better about it. And after seeing just how well February went, like better than I thought, you know? So now let's get into like how I felt about February because behavior wise, apparently it went great, but feelings wise, she was a tough one. She was a tough one. She was, she was, she was. So now let's get into the February review. We're gonna go over the positive memories and three things I'm grateful for, the accomplishments from the month and the three things I'm proud of, and then the areas of improvement and things I absolutely wanna focus on going forward as I plan March. So let's get into it. <laughs> 
so positive memories or three things i'm proud of definitely just how well and consistent the reproductive people club has been that people have been showing up consistently that we have a community that it actually feels like there's a rapport building between us like a camaraderie and understanding of each other's goals we have a group chat it's just going so good and it's exactly what i was really hoping for when i you know initiated this space and i just can't wait to keep growing and connecting with people who are on similar wavelengths like it's been so refreshing and i'm just really i'm really just really grateful for this space like for myself me needing to be productive and needing to be accountable to other people and being able to help other people also makes me want to do well so i just i love it i love it always going to be a positive memory every month probably um another positive memory from the month is definitely me going out for valentine's day you will see that vlog um the day after valentine's day me actually getting cute and dressed up is my like first real effort this year of like stepping outside I feel like you know going somewhere on purpose <laughs> and it always feels good to like take that time to you know get ready choose an outfit see if I like it and I really went outside my comfort zone with my outfit and it was just really positive experience for like the food and the music and the time and how I was feeling about myself and getting back out there as a social person I definitely would consider myself an extroverted like a social butterfly type gal um and i've not been doing that in lieu of like doing my work and i'm not still i'm still not outside baby when we when we get this done we will be we gonna be oh but like until then it's just like dipping my toe and that was definitely like a great first dip i love open all that soul so definitely a positive memory from this month and then another positive memory would just have to be i get really proud of the work that i do i it feels good to know that like com compiling this dissertation and having to defend my work and defend what I am doing is making me like have to build a confidence about my work and a confidence about my results and a confidence about what I am doing. And so in order to, you know, convey that to other people and let them let me leave. <laughs> so I'm really feeling that confidence. Like I'm really feeling like, wow, I have done this work and now I just need to make sure that I am able to convey that confidently and wrap up my results in a way that show that I am a good scientist, that I have learned how to make models, how to analyze them, how to, you know, get that stamp of approval that yes, we have trained her to do this. Like I can show that I can do that, I am doing it. And this process is just confirming that. I was telling my mother recently just how I didn't realize just how far away from the process I was until I got into it. Like I kept thinking in December that I was gonna graduate and like the previous month I was gonna graduate, but at no point had I done any of this work. Like I was still so much further than I thought I was and now that I'm in it, I realize just how close I am and then just how much of this struggle is the struggle to transform. And while that's stressful, it's also really exciting and liberating. And I'm really proud of that, of just how much I'm leaning into that of just, yeah, this is hard, but it has to be done. Like, you know, I, I don't always lean into that. Sometimes I want the easy way, soft way, because that's what's being parroted, especially right now. But no, um, I am worth the effort. I'm worth the hard work. My work is worth the hard work and the quality. So I'm going to give you that. So those are the things I'm really proud of and the things I'm going to remember about February of just me, a month of me really sticking to my word, me really keeping my word to myself and showing myself that, yeah, we can do this. It's going to be hard, but we can do this. <laughs> that was February. Speaking of, speaking of academic validation and being proud of my work, let's get into three things I'm proud of because I cannot leave a month without thinking about just how great it was for me. Like that is just the vibe that I carry, um, the things that push me forward. So three things I'm proud of. I fully filled in my dissertation, like every word that could be need that, that needs to be in there that I have is in there for every section. The ones that need to be say they're done, done. The one that's still going, it's still filled in up until what I am doing right now. So. I feel that. I feel so proud about that, that I have four chapters written. I have made the proposal presentation. I've practiced it already and I've seen just how how desperately I needed to practice it and how I'm going to need to practice it about five more times before I give it. Um, but that's fine. I am a public speaker. No big deal. I just know now the, like how much I need to practice. Um, so shout out to Dr. Jones uh, for her help. I love her. If you're not following her, you need to follow her. Okay. So yes, I loved it. I'm really proud about that. That's my work that I'm proud of. Um, I'm also really proud of the fits I wore. I'm just going to pop some on the screen. I'm going to pop them on the screen. So fucking cute, y'all. The corduroy pants. The fucking 
the, the, the leather top, the, oh my gosh, the boots, the, the, the black boots, the brown boots, the skirt, the, the collared skirt, like the socks. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. The lace, it's giving what I want it to give and I am really proud of myself for going that way. I was really scared to wear that hat. I um, am still getting into understanding like jewelry, like I'm not wearing a necklace. I feel like I it could help this somehow, but I don't know how. I don't know how. I feel like I'm not into jewelry the way I want to be. And that's something I'm going to explore more after I graduate. But just even wearing that hat felt like a step outside my comfort zone. And I was, so, but I felt so cute. Like the more I had it on, I was like, oh, cute, cute, cute. <laughs> So I'm just really happy about that. I'm really proud like that's definitely an accomplishment like stepping outside of my comfort zone is always something to be celebrated because I don't always do that. Also another thing I'm proud of is creatively I released my sex talk episode one like my sex talk series episode one. I I'm all about talking about relationships. I have this tattoo and I need to do another video on my tattoos because I need my last video I did had such poor sound quality. Um, but this tattoo is about connection, about being able to reach and being able to receive in order to actually, it takes everyone just giving a little bit of effort for us to have real connections. And so I'm actually all about relationships and sex and communication and what it means to connect to other people and how we feel about things. Like that's very, very important to me. And so actually getting that piece of content out there about being vulnerable in that way, sharing it, um, letting it and it coming out as well as I wanted it to and just everything about it I'm really proud of it I lost some subscribers after it and it's like bye I fully support people choosing what they want to engage in if I am not what you want to engage in do not engage in it because this is literally my life <laughs> so you know no one is holding no one's holding anything in your head on these internet streets you can go if you please so I'm just really proud of uh, actually putting that out there and letting it be a part of like who you know me as because that is that is part of who I am, you know? That's what this content is, is me sharing my life, documenting how it's going for me to look back on and for you to experience with me. And that's a part of my story. And it's a part of, I think, a lot of people's stories. And I'm just, I'm really proud. I'm really proud to have made that video and that I have five more coming. All of the series that I've started, that will be like once a month because I try to keep it, you know, not too many same things in a row. Um, and also, it's supposed to keep the people wanting more so if there's one a month that's at least six months i got you on the hook if you care about that <laughs> so yeah and those are my accomplishments for february that really just stand out to me and that i want to remember um very very proud of myself <laughs> now that we've gone over the things that i'm proud of let's get into things i need to improve the biggest room in the world is the room for improvement so we always have to address that because that's what we learn from our analysis in our boundaries and our negative feelings what we need to improve to improve ourselves so for areas of improvement and we definitely kind of get those from what we saw in the in the analysis so the first area of improvement is absolutely my sleep duration and time going to bed at 3 and 4 and 5 a.m every single day it's just not acceptable or sustainable Quindolin, let's do better about that i am happy that at least at least like half the time I'm getting a good amount of sleep, but there have been studies that show that people who have the variable sleep patterns, which what we, which is what we saw, um, and inconsistent and like not enough sleep, are the people who have uh, more weight loss fluctuations and who have more like stress management like issues because of that lack of regulation. Like if we can get the times more regular and get all of the bars above green, that would be ideal. That's what we want. So. Just gonna work towards that for the rest of the year. I don't think I'll master it <laughs> this month, but like that's the area of improvement. Let's focus on going the fuck to bed, okay? And then we have another area of improvement is that protein intake. It was also like a DRF. Um, I've already been working on that this week. I actually just haven't been taking like, the time to cook. Like I said, like I've just been sitting not taking those breaks in between working because I'm in flow and I hate interrupting flow but sometimes you really just have to take care of yourself and I haven't been doing that and I need to do that so that's just something I'm gonna have to go and have to consciously reprioritize and whenever I'm reprioritizing something you might catch me just talking about it a bit more on my story or on something because it's me keeping myself accountable like you might just see a lot more foods so that I'm like posting that I'm eating like so that when I re I rewatch myself so that when I rewatch my news in the morning to be like I did eat three meals yesterday <laughs> so 
that's an area of improvement of meeting my protein goal. So I'll be doing two protein smoothies a day ideally. Like I was trying, I've been trying to do the one I do before the gym, that's regular, and then also do one right as soon as I get back inside. Um, Cause it doesn't actually like get me too full for too long, just the smoothie. And then like maybe an hour or two later, I can make me lunch or breakfast or something and then you know go that way so that's what i'm gonna try out we'll see i did it for like a day and i definitely like met my protein goal and i was so proud of myself so if i could have that perfect day you know every day yeah okay so that's my second area of improvement and then my third area is getting back on my content creation schedule the way I create content is I record one video a week so that has already been assigned in a, in a table for myself. I've already assigned like what those videos are once a week and then I edit them on the weekend and ideally I would edit the video that was recorded that weekend but instead I've been recording I've been editing videos from like three weeks ago um, because I have so much space in between my editing time they can pile up. There's not that immediate, like I have to I have to edit it today. Like I'm gonna edit this today because the first is in like a day or two. But normally I'll edit a video and then I have a month until it goes live. So I have 30 days until I have to edit it. You know, and so it'll pile up and it has been doing that and that doesn't make me feel great um, because I like being on my schedule. It has been made a schedule for a reason. So I wanna get back on that. I'm likely going to post two videos next week just so that I can stay on track with my schedule um so this is me saying out loud so that I can be accountable to it um, but yeah I want to get back on my content creation schedule of like actually editing the videos as soon as they're recorded that way I have a cue sitting you know instead of like having to edit it right before it goes live it's already just scheduled live I feel better about the content I'm recording that week like I don't feel bad about it because sometimes I feel bad about recording more content when I haven't even edited what I have. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense but like that that's something that I care about so I want to make sure that I get like caught up on my editing and then stay on track so that I can keep in flow as I transition throughout graduation because as my focus with my PhD is only going to get more and more intense so if I keep this pile up going it's going to just then like be on it I'm not going to be able to address it so I have to get to that if I want it to stay consistent so definitely an area of focus for this next couple of weeks along with my proposal someone shoot me in the face don't do that I'm joking it's just an expression I say sometimes <laughs> okay so that is my review of February emotionally just so much to improve but so much that went good so let's get into the and the notion tour to check in about my goals we're going to get on the computer and screen record <laughs> i'm moving something with my foot <laughs> okay all right so let's get on the notion shall we yeah let's do it without knocking every single thing off of the desk yes so let's do a notion tour check-in so starting with my uh well <laughs> so so starting with my yearly goals page going into my yearly goals here we have my vision board as the cover page and then we have personal fashion and beauty health and fitness and all of my areas on the left here we have my daily affirmations we have my monthly breakdown which was made for my quarter breakdown and then we have my affirmations with sub goals so checking in here january complete dissertation manuscript we did that february make my proposal presentation i when i wrote this i meant to this meant give the presentation which I have not done, but I did make the presentation. So I still count that as done. Um, and then March is job application and graduation pictures, which will still be true towards the end of the month. So this is the schedule. I really was thinking, I was really thinking with my thinking caps. And that's because of the quarterly breakdown here. Like I know that quarter one is all about my PhD, all about my thesis. Um, and then as we get into April, May and June, that's more about like graduation, job hunt, money, money, money time. So that's quarter two coming up and now and then like as we're getting closer to that I have that in mind and it's shaping the way I am doing my you know proposal and my defense date and all of that. So 
um, we're on track goal wise timeline wise and then more specifically for each area of my life checking in with personal fashion and beauty I said I wanted to keep getting my manicures and pedicures scrapbook my outfits of the week and work on my clean girl beauty routine I have my manicure my pedicure caught up for the month I have been scrapbooking my outfits of the week you see it on my cues review and it's also in my bullet journal and my clean girl beauty routine is more it's like a whole it's a whole note file but it's just like my daily you know my weekly exfoliation sunscreen perfume lotion just like the really exhaustive list of like all the things that like high maintenance people do i want to be one i will be one um so i want to get into the habit of doing that um so i haven't gotten to that yet because i haven't been going to sleep but still a goal health and fitness wise daily three mile walk i have been getting in my daily hour sometimes it's three miles sometimes it's not it really just depends on you know how fast I'm walking so I still get in my 10k steps when I'm walking so I've definitely been meeting that goal and then for lifting five times a week I have been doing that the 75 champ the 75 fine challenge has been helping with that so that's been awesome I have not gotten into the Pilates or fitness classes yet that is definitely more of a goal but when I get to my fitness concentrated things in the last quarter of the year and then we have the then we have the youtube and career categories so for my career i want to learn python and make my dissertation model code in python as well babe we haven't even finalized the regular code so we have not made it there yet but that is still a goal i want to graduate with my phd in systems modeling and analysis definitely am on the track to do that i want to sign a 100k job offer contract i am keeping that in the universe amen i do want to host the first retreat this year so all these things are like things that are in the process none of these things have like we haven't reached this area yet either this is more of a quarter two goal and then we have youtube doing the new video every sunday we've been doing pretty good about that i missed a week in february um maintaining my daily column weekly review and newsletter I've actually made my newsletter weekly, so if you haven't signed up for my email list, then you definitely should. It gives you access to the We're Productive People Club weekly community session. You get access to the group chat that we have on Instagram, and you get the weekly newsletter that is released every weekend, updating you on what video is coming out, giving you journal prompts, um, and updating you on my personal progress. So I have those that are specific, and then I have the weekly review that I post on my channel, which I've been very consistent about then my daily column which i have been less consistent with i have just haven't had time like i said in the night to go to bed and i generally do my daily column at night it's part of my nighttime routine so if i'm not doing my nighttime routine i'm not doing my reflection practice so i have to i really want to get back into that because i do enjoy that documenting of my life and just that kind of daily practice so definitely want to get back into that my goal is to have 25 members by the end of the year we're at like 13 14 i think i just saw a new submission earlier today that i need to add so uh, we're definitely growing so if you are looking for an accountability buddy definitely join our group you just need some a space to just talk about your goals you don't have anyone to talk about them with come join if you just need somewhere where you want to do yoga with other people and feel like you're not alone come join if you need like legitimate kick in the ass assignments you need me to help you stay on your shit come join like if you just want to be friends come join like literally it's a space for productive people who if you if my content resonates with you then you would definitely enjoy the company of the people in the group so definitely i'm recommending that and then we have uh, i said i want to get into my instagram reels and like posting on my magazine neither of which i will get into until after i've graduated we have priorities <laughs> um so that's my yearly goals page and then checking in with my phd things page i've actually written these things into my dissertation and into my proposal so i can check them off as done a man so i'm feeling really good about this good about this good about this i've changed the title for chapter four but chapter two is done chapter three discussion and results references yes update presentation with new results yes and then chapter four introduction yes math background yes data yes currently doing so yes baby update model by correct leading bounds yes email yes yes we've been we've been checking things off babe um so currently on the sensitivity analysis i want to do some stability analysis and some more um other things with this with the data 
this week and the upcoming week and just this month so that I can improve my results in my proposal. So definitely making PhD progress. And then we have the YouTube calendar. So the videos that were recorded this month, I'm really, really excited for them to be released. We have two weeks in the live, two weeks in the life, uh, and then an accountability video and we have this one coming out on the first. So, you know, February's videos come out in March and then March's videos will come out in April. That's how my system is set up. And I'm just really excited for these videos to come out. Uh, I really loved the weeks in the life, just documenting how my life is going as a PhD student and then how I'm staying accountable in this process. And then I'm excited to keep recording more videos this month and then the plan gets a little less clear, but we're definitely on track and I just wanna like edit them as I said. Then that's everything in my notion that I've been checking up with. I haven't been using my weekly planner as much. I've been doing a lot of just do this on my phone because I've been very on the go with my laptop, but, but I do still use notion for like its databases and using it for like my newsletter and a lot of my organization. So I still check it relatively often, but I haven't just been updating the weekly. So yes. Uh, well, we have done all of the February reflection and now we can get into the March plan with me and the favorites. It's Porsche. Guess who I saw today, my 
I'm going to end the video on my favorite section, the Ward Out section, essentially my February favorites. I don't have much to reference this month because like I said, I spent a lot of time just working and at my computer. So there aren't many favorites to speak of because I didn't experiment with a lot of things, but favorites nonetheless. So music wise, I don't really have a lot of albums that I was just listening to nonstop, but when I look at my Spotify on repeat, I was playing a lot of tracks off Doja Cat's Scarlet. Also, my good sis Buku has been really, I've really been enjoying her album. It's They both give like focused workout music. Like I play both of them during the gym and it's, it's always a fun, sexy vibe. I'm obsessed. I'm high key obsessed. And then also, uh, Masego has been uh, always, uh, as we know, like my favorite obsession. I'm, I've been to more concerts of his than any other person's, but He's been like sneaking back into like my daily listening. Just such a good chill by music. I love him so much. So those have been like my musical favorites throughout the month. But also Kiss is on repeat. Yes, and is on repeat. Every fucking body is dropping music this month in March. Beyonce is coming. Ariana Grande is coming. Kehlani is coming. Like, like, I don't understand. I don't know what's happening in April that we have to like get the entire industry's music out. But like, congrats to me. I'm, I'm going to be here for it. And then for TV, I've been trying not to like dive into anything new because I am obsessive with things and I will just do that instead of working. So I've not been watching anything new to me, but I have been rewatching Grey's Anatomy because for those first like 13 seasons, it's just prime television. It's so fucking good. So I've been rewatching that. I've also been watching reactions to people watching that, which is just as entertaining. So, you know, that's been getting me by for just like some noise in the background so i've just been i've been having a lot of fun with my expression and really just doing some like comfort music and movies this video that's going to be the end of my march plan with me i really hope you enjoyed planning alongside me if you want to see me tackle these goals and these challenges then i would definitely subscribe to the channel i generally just make lifestyle vlogs uh, either following around or just talking about my musings as a fellow 20 something. So if you want more of that kind of content, I would stick around. Otherwise, I will see you in my very next video. If you want to get help with your goals, don't forget to check out Magic Mind. All of the details will be linked in the description. Definitely gonna help you with your productivity. And then also feel free to check the Reproductive People Club link in the description always. And if you just want to come along the ride with me, then I'll see you in my next one. Bye, friend. <laughs> that's crazy. I did like four, four, four things. So that's cool. <laughs> I'm used to that shit all the time. It's crazy.